Good evening, everyone. We're we good here. Can you hear me? All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. I will uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, it is October 24th, 2024. It's a regular meeting of the Owen Tangi Local School District Board of Education. Uh, Ms. Heater, will you please call the roll? Dr. Dabrico? Here. Mr. O'Brien? Here. Ms. Schreiber? Here. Dr. Wallach? Here. Mr. Lester? Here. All right, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I don't believe we have any uh, amendments to the agenda. No. Right. Nope. Hearing none, can I have a motion to approve? So moved. And a second? Second. All right, uh, Ms. Heater, please call the roll. Uh, any discussion? No. All right, no. Ms. Heater. Bear with me. Uh, Dr. Dabrico? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Yes. Ms. Schreiber? Yes. Dr. Wallach? Yes. Mr. Lester? Yes. All right, uh, so these are always uh, our favorite meetings when we get to welcome so many families and students to, uh, to come to the board meeting. Uh, we're, we're very happy to, to have uh, you all here and to honor those of you for the, uh, the National Merit Semifinalists and commended students. Uh, we'll, we'll start that part in just a minute. I do want to highlight that while we welcome you all to stay for the rest of our meeting, uh, you are free to leave after all the <laughs> students are recognized. Uh, so we will, we will pause for just a minute or two to, uh, to get through that once, we're, once we've recognized everyone. Uh, very briefly for the President's report, I do just want to highlight that uh, about a week ago we had the Bridging the Future event uh, through our Bridge Ed program, uh, which was really a wonderful event. I hope that some of you had the chance to, uh, to show up and, and to uh, meet some of the wonderful partners that we have in these programs. Uh, we had a chance, Dr. Uh, Wallach and Ms. Schreiber and I uh, were all there, and we had a chance to talk with Director Dakin from the uh, Ohio Department of Education and Workforce. Uh, he was very complimentary of the Tangy program recognize that what we're doing here you know, is, is really filling a gap, right? We're filling that gap between what, uh, what our students need to get into the workforce, the training that, that employers need to see in the workforce, and really helping to, to make that all work a lot more smoothly. That goes to everyone's benefit, especially as we look at the future of Ohio, where we have so many employers coming in. They need a trained and well-skilled workforce. And a lot of the work that we're doing here is, is really helping that to succeed. So he was very complimentary. He recognized the hard work of our team. We certainly want to recognize the hard work of our team. Um, it's also important, and we stress this to him in our discussion, uh, that a, a public education be funded to be able to do that. I mean, that, that's a vital part of those efforts, is ensuring that we have strong funding for public education. So I think they recognize that. There's certainly some more discussions to happen there. Uh, since our last uh, since our last meeting, we had the mental health committee, uh, where we talked about uh, a, a stigma uh, breaking competition that, that we're working on as a district, um, as well as some programs that were initiated or that are being initiated by some Liberty students mm -hmm. uh, around like a TED Talk type of program around TEDx, inclusivity. Think, but, yeah. yeah, which is really exciting because I, I think I mentioned I've been part of other organizations and groups where because it is um, a bit of a tedious task to really get um, the approval to host a TEDx event um, and so I'm impressed with these kids for taking that initiative and uh, working so hard to, to bring this event to Liberty and hopefully that's something that could be scaled across the district too. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's great. Um, any other updates since our last meeting from committees? No. So, okay, we will move straight into uh, our student recognition. So, Dr. Dabico will, uh, will introduce the names and he'll uh, explain everything. And we all want to go down.
I'm waiting for the high sign. Good? I've been working on some stuff. Beatbox. Good. Tonight we salute Olentangy students who are outstanding scholars and have achieved recognition in the 2025 National Merit Scholarship Program. A total of 61 students from Olentangy's four high schools earned a commended or semifinalist status as a result of their performance on the 2023 preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. 39 Olentangy students have, qu have qualified as commended scholars for the 2025 National Merit Scholarship Program. Most of them are here this evening. These students are among approximately 1.6 million high school students across the country who entered the program by taking the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test. These students placed among the top 50,000 highest scores. Those named commended students have demonstrated outstanding potential for academic success. Congratulations to our commended scholars. As your name is called, please proceed across the stage to have your picture taken with Superintendent Todd Meyer and Board President Brandon Lester. From Olentangy Berlin High School, Jaden Aki. Anshul Kata. Evan Weber. Vishash Uhaja. Jay Anand. Sarah Boris. Navadan Buranitu. Andrew Langan. Daniel Mattis. Metzler. Sarah Pennell. Tanush Shankar. Ayushi Tanija. Vied Vais. Rafika Badam. Adi Joshi. Varni. 
Monica Mena. Ethan Pugh. Nikhil Ravia. Pia Shaw. Varun Tri Ram. Saduna Sundar. Is that the last page? It's the next one after the one. Let me get. Let me get this one. Okay. Who? Who? Yeah, go with it right now. Nathan. So okay. Good. Nathan Sanchez Zarcos. Ira Kulapati Aishwarya Pandyan Adrian Vallalobos Ray Yagnik <laughs> Alex Zhao Tanush Prusty In addition, 22 Owen Tangi students have qualified as semifinalists. These academically talented high school seniors have an opportunity to continue in the 70th annual competition for some 6,800 National Merit Scholarships worth nearly $26 million. That will be offered next spring. Those Olin Tangi students named 2025 National Merit Scholarship semifinals here with us tonight are from Olin Tangi Berlin High School, Adeline Bowen, Grace Heitkamp, John Peterson, <laughs> from Olentangy High School, Pradhi, Pradhivi Adhari, <laughs> Sanjay Gadmisen. Jacob Hirsch, Bahin Karkarla, Arya Travidi. From Molentangy Liberty High School, Sharif Anani. <laughs> A 
Anushka Chaba. Ethan Grishop. Levi Lee. Herschel Natala. Kaysen Palmer. Rishi Rajamani. Anik Shetty. From Olentangy Orange High School, Kushi Gagrani. Janani Kandulu. Rachel Tong. Jack Wiskeman. Congratulations to all the outstanding students, their families, and teachers. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lester, as the rest of the board comes up, I would just like to uh, congratulate all of the students again for this high honor. We'd like to recognize our four high school principals here and congratulate all the parents and families and every time I get a chance to say this in public thank you for sending us such wonderful kids it's truly our pleasure and we enjoy uh, working with these young individuals each and every day thank you
All right, uh, good. So we'll move on to the next item on our agenda. Uh, we have uh, Representative Lorenz here, uh, who is uh, here to offer a district commendation. So welcome, uh, Representative Lorenz, and, and happy to hear from you. Thank you, uh, President Lester, uh, distinguished guests. Congratulations to all the kids. Great job, you guys. I know you're gone, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll be really brief. Uh, I appreciate the board giving me a minute to uh, speak with you. You know, before I talk about the proclamation, I, I want to uh, take a second to, to recognize something that you said, President Lester, uh, about workforce development. I, I'm honored and blessed to be the chairman uh, for the Ohio House of Representatives uh, for the Economic and Workforce Development uh, Committee. And it's very impor important and very vital for me. Uh, I just want to echo your comments uh, about providing solid education, working to bring dollars into uh, public education, and uh, I believe very uh, vigilantly about doing those things and I've been honored uh, and I appreciate working with people like Todd Meyer and your board and our other Delaware County schools to help make that a realization. We'll, we'll rule on the uh, biannual budget in June and you're, you may say well it's only October you know we've got a long way to go but rest assured those conversations uh, about bringing dollars back to our public schools specifically Olin TNG are things that are really important to me uh, and that I'm working on steadfastly. So enough about that. What I wanted to do is just provide a proclamation of, of recognition uh, to the board and um, acknowledge the uh, GFOA um, approval of um, fantastic financial reporting. I think it's really important that as public officials we take that opportunity uh, to recognize the way that we are being transparent in our in our financial reporting with our taxpayers this is a congress or a board that uh, exists not only in the united states but also in canada so uh, it's a very distinguished honor it's my time on pal city council and as a mayor this was something that we received several times and i was really proud of our staff and so you guys do all the heavy lifting here, uh, but our, our boards and our commission and our staff people, um, and I know that um, you know, our treasurer is not here today, he's on holiday, but uh, I think it's really important that we pay tribute and acknowledge um, the performance and display the transparency and, and celebrate what we're doing for all of our taxpayers. And so I have a small commendation. Uh, happy to present it and um, just wanted to take a second to recognize the board uh, and the school district for their outstanding achievement uh, in financial reporting on their popular report. So uh, I'm not sure who wants it. I'll give it to you, Todd, if you want. But uh, congratulations. And I think it's, it's something that really demonstrates um, accessibility and transparency to our community. And it's something that's very important to me. So thank you for letting me speak on it. And there's that. Thank you. You got it. it. You got it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, Representative Lorenz, and, and I uh, would be remiss without you know, speaking just a little bit about our Treasury Department, which does such financial work, uh, does such tremendous work with our financials. Uh, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, Treasurer Jenkins is not here, but uh, Ms. Heater has stepped in ably uh, to, to fill in his shoes. So this is really uh, a great recognition of all the work that that entire department does. And, and if I may, uh, Mr. President, I've spent a lot of time working and conversating uh, uh, with Mr. Jenkins and you know he's moved here he lives in our district he's got skin in the game he cares about Olin Tangy he's a really outstanding guy he drives his staff to do outstanding things and you know I really appreciate him as well so thank you for bringing that up yep thank you Great. thank you for having me thank, thank you thank you all right uh, so we will uh, we will then move on. Thank you, Representative Lorenz. We will uh, move on to uh, Mr. Meyer for the superintendent's report. Okay. All right. Good evening. I think it's still on. There 
There we go. All right, so I first want to uh, start off by recognizing um, fall sports winding down. Um, so these are some of our teams who have finished uh, state tournaments already, and we still have a uh, bunch of teams still in the tournament, but want to recognize um, Meadow T, state runner-up in girls golf from Montangie High School. Um, also, uh, you can see the placers in golf um, from Liberty and Olentangy, um, but also I'd like to recognize uh, Olentangy Liberty High School boys golf as a team state runner-up, and then Berlin High School girls tennis state runner-up, uh, Salil, um, who uh, competed last week and was state runner-up. So we'd like to for sure recognize their hard work and the hard work of uh, all of our coaches in our schools uh, in our athletics departments. Um, want to recognize, Mr. Lester, you brought this up, but again, wanted to uh, recognize um, our work with uh, our Bridge Ed program and bridging the future uh, last week and, and want to congratulate uh, uh, Molly Preston, our Assistant Director of Strategic Partnerships, who did a really good job of putting this whole event together along with our communications department. Um, just a fantastic turn, uh, turn out uh, that night. Um, and, and one thing I want to say is we're really just scratching the surface here because it's so important that we continue to prepare our students for life after high school. And life after high school means a lot of different things. Um, so it's incumbent upon us as a district to make sure that we continue to prepare our students. And it's critical that we continue to uh, create uh, long, strong and long-lasting partnerships with our corporate and business community um, because the K-12 uh, public education education um, is the pipeline for future workforce um, and, and I'm so proud of the work that we've done just in two years with the partnerships that we have um, in, in the opportunities that we're creating not only for our uh, students but also our staff um, with these corporations. I just want to highlight that probably the best quote, and uh, Ms. Pr Ms. Preston sent this to us, and this is feedback from Intel. And Intel was set up and they brought the VR goggles. So we had a third grade student, and this is good third grade because the awareness piece doesn't, it's almost too late to start in high school. So middle school, elementary school, it's important for us to, to continue to create this awareness. But he said, uh, so little third grader, um, and he was wearing the goggles for about 10 minutes, but after wearing the VR goggles for 10 minutes, said, wow, I want to work here. Um, so <laughs> little third grader. So I thought that was, that was pretty cool from that night. Um, also would like to recognize this is a new partnership that we just started. This is a pilot through a grant. Um, and we had some district folks that uh, went out to the Stockhands uh, Horses for Healing Farm um, probably a little over a month ago. And so we connected them with our OASIS program and we do have uh, students participating and really positive feedback so far. So we're working through that pilot this year uh, through a, a grant providing opportunities um, for some of our OASIS students. I uh, want to highlight uh, this uh, partnership, um, so facilitated by the Olentangy Education Foundation. District leaders met with uh, PTO members from our schools this morning to really talk about um, an overview of the district and for sure the great things that are going on in the district, but also to continue a conversation and answer questions that um, they may have as they help uh, volunteer and provide service in our schools and our key communicators out there in the community on what we do um, in the schools. Uh, so um, we we're excited to host them this morning. And again, one of my favorite things to do when I get in, uh, when I get the opportunity to get into schools. So I had the opportunity to join 20 of our teacher academy students. So 20 teacher academy students uh, today as well as myself, uh, read in 30 first grade classrooms across the district promoting literacy. Um, and just a, just a joy to be in uh, with the first, first graders. Very engaging, they're very curious, they ask great questions. Um, so uh, a lot of fun today there at Allen Creek um, with the first graders. And then this is, a, this is another um, 
cool activity. So the PTO over at uh, Glen Oak did a fundraiser for principal um, for a day. And so they sele two students were selected for principal um, for the day at Glen Oak Elementary School. Uh, Kyla, fifth grader, and then for Rot, a fourth grader. Uh, part of their experience was uh, them having an opportunity to come over to central office to meet with the superintendent, me. Um, which again, uh, that was just a blast. But I asked them, I said, okay, what's your favorite thing about being the principal? So this is what they said, uh, to get into the classroom, to get into the classrooms and help others and also to observe what's the learning that's going on in the classroom. And I thought that was really, really good. And then the other uh, cool thing they said, uh, for them to talk on the walkie-talkie, they actually got to solve a problem. <laughs> and I, I don't know if the toilet was overflowing or wouldn't flush or something, but um, hey, somebody let them know and they took care of it. So, um, so that, that was fun. Uh, superintendent action items, um, standard uh, action items tonight, but would like to highlight two retirements. Um, Tom Bogard retiring from Berlin Middle School after 32 years of service. And then Kathy Bowes uh, retiring um, from Heritage Elementary School after 20 years of service. Uh, also on the agenda tonight from the technology department, we have uh, a recommendation to purchase uh, ViewSonic machines along with carts. Um, and those are awarded, I think this is our ninth round, awarded through teacher application process. And then uh, approval of a resolution for the purchase of competitive retail electric service for the district um, from the lowest bid received by Meta. So again, it's something that we continue to do um, when we uh, get into these consortiums as far as saving money um, where we can get the best rate for electric um, through uh, the cooperative purchasing pro uh, program. So with that, a couple light uh, just important dates because we have we have a quick turnaround again for the next board meeting uh, November 7th which will be back at OEO and then first quarter report cards uh, will be available in power school tomorrow um, so any questions just one quick comment mr. Meyer I want to thank you and your team for your hard work on SB 29 um, teachers do best when they don't have to worry about things that aren't going on outside of the classroom at the State House, and you had our Olentangy team prepared for SB 29, and not every teacher across Ohio was. So I wanna thank you for that. When we lose time, uh, teachers worrying about what they can use and what they can't, um, it hurts our, our students' academic performance, and you had everybody seamlessly moving forward. So thank you to you and your team, and yeah. also for your late night update earlier this week. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm always available, but I do want to recognize our academics team um, who uh, really worked tirelessly starting back in the summer tackling the new law and then obviously um, what that uh, mean, what the law means for Olin Tangi and obviously for us implementation of and communication. So um, academics team, curriculum, instructional technology, uh, uh, communications was involved in that um, technology so just a lot of people involved in that and uh, you know we, we have some really really good people in the organization so uh, for well, sure recognition to all them thank you good. Any other comment questions all right good thank you mr. Meyer uh, miss heater uh, for the treasurer's report yes uh, currently or this time we don't have any so. updates but our action items on the tonight's agenda are the recommendation to approve the last board meeting minutes on October 10th to approve the acceptance of donations one from Olentangy to Olentangy High School from the Olentangy Baseball Diamond Club boosters and another to Olentangy High School from the Olentangy Athletic boosters for a supplemental and then the 2025 updated appropriations and approval of the September 2024 financial reports. Great. Any questions from this year? All right. Certainly want to recognize the, uh, I mean, we appreciate all donations, absolutely, but uh, a very large donation from the Diamond Club yes. uh, at Owen Tangi of 301800 certainly. Very generous. Uh, okay. Do we have uh, any uh, public participation? I was told now when we were okay. coming up. 
All right, sounds good. Yeah. Uh, so we will move into our board consent action items. Uh, we only have one of those here tonight, which is the recommended approval of uh, the fiscal year 25 uh, second batch of board policy updates. We had the, the readings of these previously with Dr. Fetty. Uh, uh, Dr. Fetty's not uh, here tonight. Uh, don't, does anybody have any questions or comments before we go into that? Okay, then I will uh, entertain a motion to approve uh, the uh, the board policy update uh, number two. So move. Oh, and a second. <laughs> uh, and a second. I'll second. All right. Any discussion? All right. Hearing none. Ms. Heater, please call the roll. Dr. Dabrico. Yes. Ms. Schreiber. Yes. Ms. Wallach. Yes. Mr. O'Brien. Yes. Mr. Lester. Yes. All right, we will then move into our treasurer consent action items. Uh, Ms. Cedar. Uh, board members, I recommend the approval of the, fo of the following items, items A through D, and the treasurer's consent action. Unless, um, I'm asking that you approve these items by one single action and vote unless you would like to discuss any of these items separately. And those are those four items are the four that you just read a second ago. Yes. So, uh, would anyone like to discuss any of these separately? No, right. no I'd just say I'd like to have Miss Heater back because she's far more brief. I know. <laughs> That's right. It's very efficient. <laughs> we will note that for the record. Second. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll add that to the performance review next year for, for Mr. Jones. So, uh, good. All right. So, uh, can I have a motion to approve? I'll move. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, second. Dr. Wallach, yeah. how All about right. you? You take this one. <laughs> All right, uh, Ms. Here, please call the roll. Dr. Wallach? Yes. Ms. Schreiber? Yes. Dr. Dabrico? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Yes. Mr. Lester? Yes. All right, Mr. Meyer, the superintendent consent action. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Lester. <laughs> Board members, I recommend approval of the following superintendent consent action items A through H, A, specific human resource item certified. B, specific human resource items supplementals. C, specific human resource items classified. D, specific human resource items classified substitutes. E, approval of student for early graduation. F, approval of tuition-free attendance for jail Timothy Fordis, uh, who has reached his senior year at Orange High School and no longer resides in the district. G, approval of technology items, and H, approval of business management and facility facilities items. I'm asking you to approve these items by one single action vote, action and vote, unless you'd like to discuss any of these items separately. Okay, would anyone like to discuss these separately? All right, hearing none, can I have a motion to approve? I'll move. All right, and second. I will second, so we can keep it moving. Uh, <laughs> Any discussion? All right, Ms. Heater, please call the roll. Ms. Schreiber? Yes. Mr. Lester? Yes. Dr. Dabrico? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Yes. Dr. Wallach? Yes. All right, I will then entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. second. All right, any discussion? All right, hearing none, Ms. Heater. Bear with me one second. <laughs> Dr. Dabrico? Yes. Ms. Schreiber? Yes. Mr. O'Brien? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wallach? Yes. Mr. Lester? Yes. All right, we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>